We have an update in the Linux world, the Mecha, Mecha, whatever you want to call it, Comet, which is a modular Linux handheld. Now, if you love Linux, you're going to want to know about this device, this breaking news device. So without further ado, let's get into it. We're going dark. So this modular Linux handheld computer introduced at CES 2025 by uh, Mecha Mecha Systems Inc. It features 1.8 gigahertz quad core ARM Cortex A53 processor, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 30, 32 gigabytes of storage, along with 3.4 inch touchscreen. The device runs Mechanics OS, which is a Debian based operating system with a custom user interface framework built in Rust. The key features is its modularity, right? It supports snap-in extensions like uh, keyboards, gamepads, and GPIOs IO boards. Uh, it's, it has an open source design. We're not surprised there. It has the CAD files, bootloader, and kernel that are open source, encouraging user modifications. The expandability, it includes an M2 slot for storage upgrades up to two terabytes. Connectivity, it has Wi-Fi 5, Bluetooth 5.0, and gigab uh, gigabyte ethernet. The battery life is 3000 mAh battery providing up to four hours of operation. Hit that subscribe button and the like button if you are educated, entertained, and excited about this device. So the Mecha Comet is designed for its versatility, repairability, and open source development, making it suitable for tinkerers, developers, and various projects ranging from gaming to robotics. It's priced at around $159 for the base model on Kickstarter, with a retail price expected to be around $200. So the Mecha Mecha Comet offers several types of extensions too that enhance its functionality and versatility. The gamepad features a soft press D-pad and four input buttons, ideal for gaming enthusiasts. Again, the keyboard, it includes a tactile ABS keys for traditional text input. The GPIO breakout board provides access to 40 IO pins, including connectivity with various sensors and devices. So these are the standard extensions offered by, you know, the Mecha systems. However, Mecha, Mecha, whatever you want to call it, comics, open source nature and modular design allow for additional possibilities, right? Like custom extensions. Users can design and 3D print their own extensions thanks to the availability of designs, files, and documentation. There's the Raspberry Pi hats. The Comet is compatible with Raspberry Pi hats, greatly expanding its potential applications. There's the micro bus click boards, right? These can be used to further extend the device's capabilities. Now, there are some potential custom extensions or projects that you know you're gonna want to know, like the LTE modem for creating a Linux phone. How about that, right? There's the drone launch and remote control system the CAN or OBD port for interfacing with vehicles, the long range radio transceiver using SDR display, a 7.4 inch HDR OLED touchscreen with 1280 by 800 resolution, 90 HZ re refresh rate and a thousand nits brightness. Uh, the battery is improved battery life with a 50 WH capacity offering 30 to 50% longer play time compared to the LCD model. It's powered by AMD APU with a Zen 2 CPU, 4 cores, 8 threads, and RDNA 2 GPU. Storage, it's available in 512 gigabytes and 1 terabyte configurations. It features uh, Wi-Fi 6E for faster downloads and improved online play. It's slightly lighter than 640 grams compared to the LCD models, 669 grams. It runs on SteamOS 3 based on Arc Linux, optimized for gaming and Steam integration. Linux, now, we have the Linux handheld Lenovo, uh, the Legend Go S. The Linux you know, Lo Lenovo Legend Go S is another kind of Linux uh, handheld that you're gonna wanna know. It's powered by SteamOS, and it's a new handheld gaming PC that runs on Valve's Linux-based SteamOS operating systems. It features an 8-inch WUXGA 16 by 10 120 hertz touch display and is powered by either an AMD Ryzen Z2 Go or Z1 Extreme processor. So the device comes up with 32 gigabytes and 7,500 megahertz, right? The L... 
I believe it has the LPDDR5X RAM and the 55.5 WHR battery and weighs 730 grams, which is about two pounds. The key features of the Lenovo Legion Go S is powered by SteamOS. Official SteamOS support, making it the first non-Valve device to run this gaming-optimized Linux OS. It, you know, the cloud saves for seamless transition between PC and handheld gaming. The remote play for, you know, streaming games from a PC. Full access to Steam Store and Steam Library. Wi-Fi 6E support and two USB ports for connectivity. Micro SD card reader for expandable storage. Now. What is the Linux handheld uh, Anbernic custom Linux? That's another one handheld that you're gonna want to know. So the Anbernic is a comp is a company that is you know produces several Linux-based handheld game consoles for retro gaming. Their devices typically feature dual boot capabilities, allowing users to switch between Linux and Android operating systems. So some key features of Anbernic's Linux handhelds include. A custom Linux OS, right? Anbernic devices often use custom Linux distributions like Batosira or Emil EC, which are optimized for retro gaming. You have the emulation support. These handhelds can emulate a wide range of retro gaming systems with some models supporting up to 30 plus emulators. You have the hardware specifications, right? Screens ranging from 3.5 inches to 5.36 inches as far as IPS displays. Processors such as the RK3399 and all winner H700 RAM typically between one gigabyte and four uh, gigabytes. Storage options include built-in EMMC and expandable micro SD slots. Uh, battery life more around six to eight hours of gameplay. Additional features are some module some models include Wi-Fi connectivity, HDMI output, and active cooling systems. Now, those are the top Linux devices, right? But we have some more, like tablets, right? The Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus is a powerful Android tablet that can run Linux. It features 12.4-inch Super M uh, AM OLED display with a 120 um, you know, H right, 120 HC refresh rate, Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip. 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes storage, expandable to one terabyte, right? The Lenovo Yoga Smart Tab is another popular Android based tablet that can be transformed into a Linux machine, offering flexibility for both everyday use and technical exploration. We then have mini PCs, right? Like the B Link Mini S stands out as an excellent mini PC for Linux enthusiasts, right? It comes with Intel Celeron or Pentium processors, eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes SSD storage. It's compact size, low power consumption and multiple ports make it ideal for setting up a home lab environment or running Linux distributions. Take your pick, which one would you choose, right? Single board computers, the Raspberry Pi 5 remains the king of hands-on Linux learning in 2025. This small but powerful single board computer is perfect for running lightweight Linux distributions. Which one is the lightest, right? And can serve as an affordable test server. Mobile devices, several Linux-based mobile operating systems are gaining traction in 2025. You have the post-market OS, which is an open source OS based on Alpine Linux, designed to extend the lifespan of smartphones. Ubuntu Touch, a mobile version of the popular Ubuntu Linux distribution. You have Sailfish OS, a Linux-based mobile operating system developed by Jala Mobian, which is a Debian-based Linux distribution for mobile devices. You have Pure OS, a fully free and open source mobile operating system, okay? So that is what I have for you today. If you like this video, if you were educated and entertained, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Like this video, subscribe. See you on the next video.